Hey, what's up, guys? We're here with another video, and we uh, keep in mind I have seen Avengers Endgame. I want to say that, so people don't think this reaction is just like, how did he know this and know that? I've seen this movie, okay? <laughs> I've seen it three times, two in the theater, one on the internet, and now I'm about to see it again, well, parts of it. So, yeah, um, I'm just going to give you my general opinion on how I felt about not only Professor Hulk's role in this movie, because a lot of people are mad that their Hulk didn't get in on the action and get a rematch with Thanos, but, hey, um, I'm going to give my two cents on that, but let's start the video. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> I like how Thor walks up and says, I'll do it. <laughs> I'll do it. See, like, it's crazy because Dr. Strange said one in a million. Ant-Man coming back. Professor Hulk, uh, Hulk and Bruce Banner becoming Professor Hulk. Like, all these scenarios where in one timeline, all this was supposed to happen. And he says, like, I was made for this. This is calling back um, to his origin story of him being uh, made, made from gamma radiation, trying to replicate the Steve uh, Rogers project. So... It is kind of crazy to see Hulk step up and have this type of role. A lot of people didn't agree that he wasn't in action roles, but I think it brings more depth to the character that Hulk is. Yes, I would have, I wanted to see Hulk beat some ass, but I don't think that would have been good for the movie overall because Hulk has always been that character they use to just smash and be that angry guy in the action scenes. This time, they didn't want it to be like that. They want the. It's crazy because throughout the series, they've actually progressed Hulk in a good way, from his uh from him being a Sakar and fighting as a gladiator, and you get to see Hulk's personality a little bit more, and then you get to see the Bruce and Banner, the Bruce Banner and um, Hulk dynamic in Infinity War when Hulk didn't want to fight, and it's just so cool to see the character progress into something more than just a killing machine. Nice. 
He's getting the phone call. He lets him know that the snap has been uh, snap has been undone. And then he blows up the compound, and yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much. Tell me what you think about Hulk's arc. Do you think it was a good way to progress his arc? Or do you think he ultimately still should have been able to whoop some ass at least, or at least get a, a rematch from Thanos? I think that the directors did a good job of not doing that. Now, as long as they let us see Professor Hulk kick some ass in future MCU films, I'm okay with him not really being an action role because that's all he's been before so i'm glad that he wasn't anyways thank you so much for watching and uh subscribe if you want to and peace oh crap what is going on <laughs>